Is the water cold, Arlo? Oh, oh, cold, cold, cold. Kind of feels good in the sun, though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it is a beautiful <laughs> sunny day here today. I um, just have a little bit of planting left to do. And I've got one of those vertical planting towers, the green stock towers, uh, and I haven't got a chance to plant it yet. So I'm gonna plant it today and add it to our back patio here. I first saw them over on Roots and Refuge Farm. I just love everything that Jess does, but she has quite a few of these green stock towers. Uh, so during their Mother's Day sale this year, I grabbed one. I would love to add a few along the back patio and throughout the garden, uh, but just started with one for now. They're a little bit of an investment piece. So I uh, just have the one for this year, but I'm excited to get it out of the box and see what it looks like. Okay, let's see what we have here. These guys had really good customer service. Um, they're out of Tennessee. When I first placed my order, I got the mobile base with it, but then I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, I'm actually just gonna leave it right here on the corner of the patio. So I really don't need to be able to move it. So I emailed them and said, you know, could I change my order to the spinner base instead? And they got back to me right away and they actually called me to let me know that they had updated the order and it was going out for packing and shipping that morning, so. Okay. All the pieces and parts. How cute is that? They sent these little, these cute little stickers with it. And some lettuce seeds. Okay, let's see here. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you just stack them and plant. Yep, so fill them up, plant them, and stack them. Okay, my plan is to do lettuces and herbs in this. It's pretty close to the kitchen, so easy access for food. I bought a lot of the herbs already started, so I think I'm gonna do them along more of the bottom tiers. And then the lettuces, I'm gonna start from a seed. So I'm gonna put them in the top to make sure they get enough sunshine. Okay, got some rosemary, some sage. Got some thyme here also. A couple varieties of basil. I would love to do a big herb garden sometime up. I'm just kind of taking it one thing at a time right now. And a lot of the herbs like mint and, and uh, rosemary, I think thyme too, they have a tendency to kind of take over the space. So I didn't want to put them in the in-ground garden and then struggle with, with them taking over. So I actually have mint in a separate container over here. And then I was just going to keep these ones smaller for this year. I've been keeping all the plastic cups too, so I can reuse them for all my starts next year. Don't have to buy any new ones, or at least not as many new ones. I'm gonna move this into place before I keep planting since I didn't get the base with the roller wheels. I'm sure you can just take off tier by tier if you need to move it. But for now, I'm just gonna put it in its final place so that hopefully I don't have to move it again. It's already getting pretty heavy just with one tier full here. Woo, it's starting to rain. I'm glad I'm under our little pergola cover. That was quite a little storm 
that blue throat. It was quick though, just a spot storm. I love the little short spring time storms. They're so pretty. I grabbed a whole bunch of different lettuce varieties to try in this planter here. I've got spinach, I even have some baby bok choy, I'm gonna give that a try. Some red lettuce, different kinds of green lettuce, just a whole variety. It's so nice to have fresh lettuce, like ready to go. I planted a bunch of it in one of the raised beds last summer and it was nice to just be able to grab it when I was making dinner. I feel like when I buy it from the grocery store, I have a hard time with it going bad so quickly. So when it's fresh, you can just wander out grab it, make it for dinner or lunch or whatever. Probably one of my favorite just like easy growers that we use a lot of. Maybe, you know, I think I might set the next tier on here so that I can see kind of where to plant better. These only go an eighth of an inch deep. So when I have a seed, that is so small like that. I almost just kind of like sew them along the top. I'll thin these out depending on how many germinate. And then I kind of just roll my hand over it. Just like that so they don't end up getting too covered. I planted quite a few of these Merlot lettuces last year over there in the raised bed and it was so yummy. I'm excited to have some of it again. Since this is a brand new bag of soil, it's not absorbing the water super well yet. So I've actually just been spraying directly into the bag and then kind of working it in with my hands. I know I'm gonna use this whole bag plus another one probably. So I'm not worried about like over watering it. So I'm just giving it a good soak like that. And then I'll work it in for a minute. Basically the same as when I start seedlings. I like to get the soil nice and damp ahead of time so you can kind of like work it in and make sure it's soaking it up, uh, but not getting too wet, you know, not like too soft. Okay, that's pretty good consistency. <laughs> then I'm just adding it to the planter. I don't know if this is helping, but it's definitely making it easier to like spread the soil out and make sure that I actually have water in it. The first couple tiers, I just put the dirt in dry and then I tried to water it, but it just, you know, it kind of like sits on the surface. So it's a little easier to work it in with my hands first. Then I know at least it has some water already in it and it soaks up the hose spray a lot better. The one thing the instructions say is not to pack these too tight because it can cause them to warp. So that's also helping with getting it wet ahead of time because I'm just like kind of lightly filling it up um, but I don't feel like I need to press it in there at all because it's already it's already wet so I know that it's not gonna like shrink into nothing when I do the first watering. I don't know I really have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just sharing what I'm doing. This is this is my first time planting one of these. I'm just sharing the process. You can kind of figure out what works for you if, if you plant one. Definitely, I mean, I'm totally just making this up as I go.
this is actually a ton of planting space. It's a, it's a little bit more than I thought it was going to be even. But it's all planted now and we'll see how it does. Okay, here's an up close of it. I ended up kind of dispersing the herbs throughout it for now, just so it has some plants on the top and the bottom. And then the rest of the pockets have all the lettuces and spinach and bok choy. And that should all start coming up here pretty soon. They're quick growing, so should fill out nicely here over the next couple weeks. Now that this is all planted, I'm getting excited to get the rest of the patio set up. We'll have to do that soon. Nothing too crazy. Really just got to bring the cushions back out here. We actually ran the covers through the wash this week, so they're almost ready to come back out. And then I'm going to plant these flower pots and then a couple others, the hanging basket that I have to go around the area. For now, I just got to get this mess cleaned up. We'll start there. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope your week is going well. I'll see you next time.